and welcome to this week's preview show where we are joined by club captain Simon Francis. Here's what's coming up this week. We'll be looking back at last weekend's 4-0 win over Luton in the FA Cup and then we'll be turning our attention to Sunday's game here at Vitality Stadium against Watford. But first we're going to start back at last weekend and that brilliant performance in the Cup. Frano, it was uh, certainly needed and, and something that can build confidence from. Yeah, certainly that's the... Um the mindset we had before the game, we wanted to um, put performance out there for the fans, first and foremost, obviously, and for, for the players to get a little bit of confidence back, a bit of belief ahead of uh, the Watford game, which is going to be crucial. And it can be anything, it can be a cup game, obviously, to be a catalyst to, to kickstart um, these next few games we've got coming up. And I thought we, we handled the game very professionally. Uh, obviously, scoring four goals was great for us, but we dominated the game. They did have their chances, of course, to get back into it. Um, VAR, VAR playing its part again, uh, as per usual. But... Um, that no, was an entertaining game and, and one that we uh, we enjoyed and, and certainly we needed. And how pleased were you and the rest of the lads for Dominic Solanke? We thought he had one in the first half. It was ruled out for VAR, as you say, and then he comes up with a goal in the second half. Yeah, we're delighted for him. Obviously, it's been a long time coming in and for any striker when they're not scoring goals. Um, I'm sure that plays on their mind, but he's been confident. He's been there in training. He's been putting the ball in the back of the net in training and we knew it was was going to come just a matter of time. Um, and for Callum as well, obviously, he hasn't scored in a, in a number of games, so... Hopefully that will build massive confidence for them. Um, all it takes is a tap-in, of course, and, and we're hoping that come Watford they'll, they'll be firing again. You mentioned Callum there. He came on with his first touch he scored. It was it was great to see him back on the score sheet. And Philip Billing as well, two goals for him, his first two for the club. Yeah, delighted for Phil. Um, he's been excellent since he's come in. Um, fitted in seamlessly into that midfield, and I, I know he didn't have much of a pre-season at Huddersfield, so fitness was, was an issue for him, but... I thought he came in, he's looked stronger every single week, uh, very laid back on the ball, slows the game down at times when we need it to, um, very composed and he can attack as well and we saw that against Luton, scored two goals, albeit a, a deflection on the second one, but um, he's been excellent and again, goals is what, what we need uh, this team, we've always looked like creating chances over the past month or two, that's not necessarily dried up but we haven't created as many as we'd, we'd have liked to, so scoring four at home is, is certainly a big boost ahead of this game. And we can talk about the strikers scoring goals at one end, but at the other end, a clean sheet that as well can, you know, do wonders for confidence. Yeah, again, that, that that's certainly needed um, to go and win games. Of course, you need to keep clean sheets. And that's something we have built our, our success on over the past few years. Um, I think injuries have played a part in that this season, a disjointed back four at times. Yeah, we're hoping we can keep more clean sheets, of course. That will go a long way into winning games. Um, and when we're at our best, I think we defend really well and we create chances and we score goals. And that's the ho hopefully the Bournemouth we're going to see over the next few weeks. And just a word on Alex Dobre. He came on for his debut. How impressed have you been with him, you know, on the pitch and in training? Yeah, really impressed. Obviously, he's been training with us a while now. Um, and I, I've got to say, I haven't seen many young lads with his attitude and his desire to just want to be in the first team at all costs. Um, sometimes he's, he's very over -enthusias enthusiastic and the manager has to slow him down a little bit in training because he's... He's 100 miles an hour at all times, really, but he's a maverick. You know, he, he he's always got something up his sleeve that he can do. Um, he's got a lot of ability. He works really hard, like I said. He's in early. He's always working hard after training, um, and he just wants it as much as I've ever seen a young player. Um, so I'm delighted for him that he's got a debut and hopefully many more appearances to come. And just finally on Luton after that win, what's the mood like being around the training ground this week? It's been good. It, it always is. I mean, despite when you lose a game, of course, you're disappointed afterwards, but... If you let that play on your mind all week, building up to an, another game, it's, it's only going to affect you in a negative way. And the manager's been big on that, especially whilst we've been on the run we have of late, which hasn't been great. Um, you have to stay positive. It, it can be hard at times. Uh, after the West Ham game was probably as down as I've ever felt over the past few years being in the Premier League. That was a real, real sickener for us. And I think the lads felt the same. But the manager was was positive in, in the build-up to training um, to the Luton game. We knew it was a big game for us. Um, albeit a cup game against a team in the bottom of the championship, those can potentially be a banana skin. Uh, but we handled it professionally and confidence is, is slowly coming back for us and I feel like it's going to be a good few weeks. Absolutely. Well, next few weeks is where we're turning our attention to and it starts with Watford on Sunday. Let's take a look at what Eddie Howe had to say in his pre-match press conference. We're getting there on some. A um, couple of problems with others. Um, the long-term absentees won't really change. And I think it's fair to say that without a doubt, this is a massive game for us. Um, players know that, we know that, I'm sure the crowd know that, how much we're going to need them this weekend, how much we're going to need to create an atmosphere to show the importance of the match. Teams used to used to really fear coming here. I think it was a, a tight stadium, 
small ground, obviously, but a really, really good atmosphere. And that's no no blame on the crowd because we haven't performed well enough here consistently this season. Only a couple of wins, as you say, it's not enough. Um, but we really need now, between now and the end of the season, that feeling, that feeling back. You go out with a good body language, a good attitude, a good mentality. The crowd will back that. And um, I'm desperate to see that this weekend. And um, we have to show it. We have to show how much this game means to us. It's a time for everyone to unite together, um, to be totally focused on achieving our goals and our aims. Well, that was Eddie Howe speaking this morning in his pre-match press conference. Frano, it's a, a big game on Sunday on the TV and we're going to need our supporters more than ever, aren't we? Oh yeah, of course. Um, and I think they've been excellent of late, actually, especially against, against Luton walking out. Um, I have to be honest, I didn't expect to see a full full stadium and it looked as, as packed as ever. Um, and credit to the fans, they really got behind the lads and we're going to need that every single game, home and away. The away support's been phenomenal again this season have to say and, and at home it's, it's been great and I know when results aren't going our way it can be easy for the fans to not make as much noise but I have to say it makes a big difference on the pitch when you hear your home fans supporting you and getting behind you and of course we'll need that Sunday more than ever um, but not just Sunday now to the end of the season um, the fans are a massive for us at this football club we know that we want to put performances in we want to get results for them um, and that'll start Sunday and a word on Watford they've <coughs> changed their manager with Nigel Pearson how impressed have you been with them since he's come in they're picking up results picking up points yeah they've certainly had that that new manager bounce if you, if you like if you want to call it that or that that effect of a new manager coming in the players are playing for him um, mm. almost instantly really the, the results they've had have, have really turned their, their season around from, from the bottom of the league to, to climbing up out of the relegation zone so we're under no illusion it's going to be a tough game we know they've got quality anyway even, even when they weren't winning games they're always a, a dangerous team to play against we found that away from home on the counter attack, they've got good attacking players. They defend well. They're pretty solid, and Nigel Pearson will, will have made a big difference for that as well defensively. So, it's going to be a really tough game, um, but we know what we can do to hurt them. We know where our strengths are, and hopefully we'll we'll do that on Sunday. And they're obviously going to be without Christian Cavaselli. He's um, suspended for the game. How much of a boost will that be, or is that something you look at, or is that something that you know you focus on the team and and you know the team that you're going to face? Yeah, I mean we won't focus on that. In, too much individually um, obviously it's a huge blow for them he's, he's an important player but um, they have defenders that to come in and, and take his place um, so that won't be a massive loss for them I don't think um, maybe an area that we could target during this week's training but we'll be working on our strengths where we can hurt them that, that that's what we're all about now um, trying to score goals create chances like we did against Luton using that confidence that belief and and hopefully we'll cause them problems. And I just want to ask you about VAR. What What is it like for a player? We've seen it last week come into play. We've seen it across the Premier League season. What's it like for, for you as a player and, and the squad to deal with? Is it something that you, you, know, you talk about in training, talk about off the pitch? Well, it's a talking point nearly every single weekend in the Premier League. Well, it is every weekend, almost every game at the moment. Um, so, yeah, we talk about it. I mean, I watch a lot of football and it always seems to be having an effect. And the problem is that it's becoming more of a negative effect than positive, I think, of late. During a game, it, it's strange. I mean, obviously, the, the biggest one was the Chelsea one away from home. It was just strange emotions that I've never felt in a game because you're never normally waiting that long for a result to be, for a decision to be made. Gozo celebrated three times. We all saw that. And um, it almost became a bit of a... A, a comedy act in the end, um, which is disappointing. It, it does take the emotion and the, and the passion out of the game. You know, the result went our way in the end, so we're very happy with that. But yeah, I'm just, I just think there's a lot of cleaning up to do with it. Um, it's still a little bit of a mess at the moment. Um, yes, they're getting the majority of the decisions right, but sometimes just taking too long. It's too fiddly. I mean, with the offsides things, um, I do think things need to be changed with that. But it's something they'll assess, I'm sure, at the end of the season and hopefully make it better for next season. And just finally, there's a big few weeks coming up. We've got plenty of home games, you know, Brighton, Aston Villa, Watford on the weekend, away to Norwich next weekend. How important of a period is this after, you know, the, the rush of Christmas to kick on in the new year? It is an important period. I think any any block of games that you look at when you think, well, these are games that we can hopefully take points from are always going to import, be important. But we did think that over the Christmas period, there were some games that we could go and attack and and hopefully win, and that, that didn't go our way. Um, Chelsea probably being the surprise result out of them. So we know that the consistency needs to be there for us. We need to go on a run, of course, to get us out of the danger zone that we're in. Um, we're confident we can do that, and this block of games should be good for us, and, and we're hoping to get off to a good start on Sunday. 
well, I'm sure I speak on behalf of all the fans and wishing you the best of luck for the weekend and the, the few weeks ahead. Now then, if you are coming to Vitality Stadium on Sunday, make sure you wear your colours and cheer on the boys at Vitality Stadium. If you're not coming, make sure you listen to Chris Temple on BBC Radio Solent and on AFCB TV. Bye for now.